So uh, in addition to the uh, inputs and outputs module, uh, the uh, GC5 prepared also the uh, controllers. So the first one is uh, AC20 controller. Uh, so it's the typical application controller. Uh, you can have a version with LCD or without LCD with just uh, LED diodes. Uh, so of course the, uh, the price is uh, different on it, but uh, LCD, you can program LCD. There is a built-in uh, main menu in the LCD, but you can program each row according to your needs. You can flash the LCD and change the network configuration and so on. So it's a, a very nice feature here. So on the board we have also inputs outputs. There are 22. Uh, 22 inputs, so there are 8 UIs, uh, 4 GIs, uh, 4 DOs and uh, 4 analog outputs. Uh, and on, uh, on analog output number 5 and 6, there's also one wire protocol implemented. So the, this is an example that the protocol can be also implemented on the analog outputs. So it saves also the, uh, the space on the controller. So we have a main RS-485, so on the RS-485 we have a Modbus and Bucknet, Modbus R2U, ASCII or Bucknet MSTP, but uh, only in master mode. So the AC20 can be only the master uh, over RS-485 here, uh, and uh, it can be connected to the top system or to the another master through the IP. There is a two IP ports in the switch mode. So in the switch mode to connect more the devices in series. Uh, yeah. There is a SD card here, there is a port of SD card. SD card is also uh, provided in the box. So if you order the devices, you will provide, it will be provided also with SD card. And SD card is dedicated to collect alarm and historical data. Because the uh, controller has um, a RT, uh, real time clock on the board, so you can, have, uh, you, can you, you, can, you can gather and collect also alarm and historical data over the Bucknet Modbus. Or locally, we have a different version of this uh, controller. There is um, uh, also the additional protocol MBUS, or we can have a uh, DALI on board. So according to your needs, according to your ordering, you can order a different version of it. It's nice controller based on the Sedona framework. So the Sedona uh, Sedona framework is an open framework. Uh, yeah, it's very uh, it's uh, it's made by the same guys which invented Niagara, in fact. But it's uh, open. It's for free. So the cost of implementation also is much more lower than Niagara has. Of course, uh, uh, Sedona has mm, not so many possibilities as Niagara has, but, uh, but still uh, it's worthy, worthy your attention, for sure. Uh, controller is powered by the 24 volt AC-DC, so the same as uh, the modules I show you. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think that's it. That's it. So the programming tool is provided by GC5 for free. It's a very important uh, thing. So it's called ISMA tool. So we can uh, program this controller through the ISMA tool. Of course, you can use the older version of Niagara uh, if you uh, have a license for Niagara AX because Niagara AX is the, was the last version which, sup uh, which supports Sedona. Niagara version 4 does not support Sedona anymore. That's why uh, GC5 provide uh, uh, the ISMA tool, develop the own Tool to pro to 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 program this controller. So the perfect the perfect suits for the to control HEU units, for example, or heating chilling plants, and uh, and yeah. So this is freely programmable, freely fully programmable controller in the Sedona environment. Uh, yeah, worthy worthy to run for sure.